As a specialist in male voiding dysfunction, I tend to do lots and lots of uh, BPH procedures, benign prostatic enlargement uh, procedures. So that includes uh, some of the newer procedures like aqua ablation or Optolume BPH, uh, but also things like green light laser uh, and Urolift and Resume, all of which can be used to treat patients for their enlarged prostate. Uh, I like to have available in my toolbox lots of different types of procedures because that enables me to offer my patients uh, what makes the most sense for them and uh, what makes the most sense for their needs and their desires as far as their voiding dysfunction is concerned. A lot of patients seem to think that voiding dysfunction uh, is related to prostate cancer and that's exceedingly rare. So the vast majority of the time, if a patient has symptoms, it really has nothing to do with whether or not they have prostate cancer. It has to do with the enlargement of the prostate and then the effects that that enlargement has had on the bladder. So just reassuring a patient that prostate cancer will cause symptoms, I'd say less than 1% of the time. So aqua ablation is the newest procedure that we've been doing. We have uh, information on that or data on that for about six or seven years now. Uh, so it's not that new on the block. Uh, we use high pressure water in real time imaging with an ultrasound to map out the prostate. And once we've mapped it out, we press go and a robot uses a high pressure water jet to sort of clean out the prostate and make a, a large channel through the prostate. It's by far the most precise way that we can open a prostate up and remove tissue to enable patients to avoid better. Green light laser I've been teaching <clears throat> and doing for over 20 years all over the country, all over the world. Uh, it is, in my mind, one of the gold standards uh, for prostate enlargement uh, rem uh, treatment. Uh, it uses a special type of laser, uh, the wavelength of which um, is hemostatic, meaning it has the least amount of bleeding as we go through uh, the tissue. And so patients who are prone to bleeding or patients who are on blood thinners or patients who are medically fragile, we tend to push the, uh, the green light laser procedure uh, because it tends to be safer in those patients.